Hello, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, this is going to be your Saturn Direct prediction reading. So let's explore uh, what Saturn has in store for you as we're moving into Libra season. Really excited about that. We're getting closer and closer to Scorpio season, so this is going to be really exciting to see how you guys evolve. Um, I really feel like the theme for Scorpio in general has been about evolution. Um, your theme has been about leveling up in areas um, where you have felt kind of weighed down, especially with your ancestors, with your family, your lineage, okay? So, you know, a lot of you guys are breaking out or trying to break out of ancestral um, trauma, ancestral healing. Sorry, you're incorporating ancestral healing. You know, I'm big with the ancestors, so... I really see that, you know, a lot of you guys have been doing so much work for yourself and your family, and you're really trying to kind of get some relief is what I'm hearing, okay? So for those of you who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. I am clairvoyant and clairaudient, okay? So um, I do start with a channeled message, and then I move on to the description of the cards, okay? For those of you who are returning excuse me, returning to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Mwah. Love you guys. Always love your support. Love hearing from you guys. Please don't forget to drop um, a comment, a like, and hit that notification bell just so you know when my videos are uploaded, okay? So Scorpio, let's see what's happening for you. So what was your karma that you were dealing with when Saturn was in retrograde? Let's see what you were learning about yourself. I'm hearing abandonment issues. So some of you guys are really like working through areas of your family. It's funny because I started off the video like that. A lot of you guys were working through feelings of leaving, of feeling left out in the cold, okay? Of feeling as if, you know, you've always, it's almost like, I feel like Scorpio, you've, you almost feel like the oddball in your family. You feel like you've always kind of been someone who wanted more out of life not that your family doesn't want more but it seems that the collective of my scorpios you may be surrounded by people in your family who kind of want to pull you down because you want to rise and i feel like there's been a lot of gossip around you um i feel like there's been a lot of like you know just people like looking down on you for wanting to change okay um i'm also the swan. I'm seeing a spirit animal of a, um, a swan, okay? So I want you guys to do your research. Go take a look. Um, research or Google uh, the swan animal totem. That is your spirit animal right now. The swan is actually a very spiritual creature. It's very elegant. It's very poised. And it's pure, okay? So a lot of you guys are going from your phoenix rise, you know, burning your, your old self to the ashes, and to now you're transforming yourself into someone who is more refined in areas that perhaps you felt you weren't before, okay? I am seeing that there is going to be, so before I jump into the karma here with Saturn, you're going to have a lot of fame. I really see a lot of fame or a lot of acknowledgement from people around you. Um, I feel like, as I said that, look at that. You're going to be very financially successful. I can feel it already, but let's get through your karma first. So what did you learn? And while Saturn was in retrograde, what was your karma, Scorpio? Leaving people in the past. Proving worthy of a new beginning. Ending old cycles so new ones can begin. Success. And how you deal with power, okay? How you deal with power, Scorpio. That's a big deal for you. How you deal with public recognition. How do you deal? Like, what is your what is your way of dealing with people um, and you being in the public eye? Because this is big here. Or in general, this is the overarching theme here for Saturn and retrograde for you is your self-esteem. Scorpio, what was the karma for you while Saturn was in retrograde? The 
karma for you while Saturn was in retrograde, please. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm seeing two different, very strong polarities here, okay? Um, money and the way you deal with your investments was something that Saturn really brought around for karma, okay? The way you shared your money or the lack of, the way you reacted to having fame or having success, how have you been dealing with that with other people and ego? For me, um, you know, when it comes to karma, the Six of Wands for me is about the shadow aspect, especially because you have the shadow. So this has been about your shadow work, Scorpio. You have been working through a deep transformation of shadow aspects that involve maybe a, a need to control, a need to be on top, a need to have the last word. Okay, or you may have been dealing with people in your surroundings, a Leo, Sag, Aries, where you felt in competition with someone. A lot of you guys really have been expanding in terms of career and work and life purpose. And I feel a sense of protection, like wanting to protect this vision you have for yourself long term. And I feel like what Saturn was really highlighting was your shadow aspect when it comes to ego and drive. How do you relate? when it comes to communication or being challenged, Scorpio. So Saturn in retrograde really put this into perspective. How are you dealing with people when they challenge you, when they say, oh, well, you're not right? I mean, a Scorpio is always right. I mean, you guys have like ancient fucking wisdom. Like you guys are born right, right? But besides that, how do you deal when you feel that there's competition? Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. How do you feel when you feel verbally attacked or you feel like you need to protect your throne? A lot of you guys have been um, covering for a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is coming up here. You have been covering for them, meaning you're hiding something for them. This could also be an Aries Leo Sag, strong Aries energy. You're covering something here. You're either covering a hidden truth that needs to come out because Saturn is now direct, or you're hiding their secrets or you're hiding something deceptive here that you know about, but you know, Saturn really wanted to give you this perspective. You are being very successful. Like you're definitely in your power, but how you deal with that power is what Saturn was really trying to get you to see. And how are you holding on to people's secrets here? I don't know why the cards aren't telling me that, but my intuition is telling me that some of you guys are dealing with a, an earth sign that's hiding something from you. You're hiding something from an earth sign. There's a need to keep a secret here. You've been holding on to a lot of like secrets to try to protect yourself. A lot of you guys during this retrograde have been learning how to communicate without being defensive. Yeah. Or you're dealing with someone in Aquarius who has been coming for you. So this has been, how do you deal with people trying to take over what you've worked for so hard? Like a lot of my Scorpios have been working really hard. Okay. But how do you deal when you don't feel like you measure up or you feel like someone's trying to come after your throne? Or how are you dealing with people who are trying to swing the sword at you? Are you being defensive? Are you, what is it? What's the response to people? Because Saturn was saying, this is your shadow work. Your reaction to competition is your shadow work. And if it's a healthy response, Great, we're gonna see what that looks like right now. But a lot of you guys were really stressed out. There's a lot of like shadow energy here surrounding a fear of losing everything that you've established for yourself. With the Ace of Cups in reverse, I feel like a lot of this is coming from fear. So Saturn in retrograde really aligns you with the reality you're having to face the fear and how you're reacting out of fear, especially for my Scorpio moons. 
but can be Scorpio Sun as well. I feel strongly here. How are you reacting to fear? Okay. Um, I feel I had a vision. A lot of you guys were isolating yourselves from the world or people like you felt, um, you just felt disconnected or you felt so overly protective of yourself. You kind of pushed everybody away and they're the Holy Grail, the Ace of Cups in reverse. A lot of you guys during this retrograde, the karma was really about your own emotional well-being. How have you been giving to yourself, Scorpio? Are you giving enough to yourself? Where is the outpour of divine love? Where is it going? Is it going towards you or is it going to someone else? That is the real question. So now that Saturn is direct, what's going on with your love life? Um, I'm having a vision of a strong Libra Aquarius Gemini, okay? It's like there's a reawakening here of emotions that you thought you didn't have. Or it's a reawakening of feeling like just uncomfortable. I don't know why this air sign makes you uncomfortable, but they're making you uncomfortable. Maybe you guys can let me know what that's all about. Um, now that Saturn is direct, please. Love. For Scorpio. Sorry, I was going to love for Scorpio now that Saturn is direct. Love for Scorpio. Some of you guys left behind um, someone with the name of M, Melissa, Michael. There's someone with an M here that you left behind, Scorpio. Now that Saturn is direct, what's going on in your love life? Yeah, a lot of you guys have decided to kind of focus on your work, okay? Um, some of you guys just filed some divorce papers and you're kind of coming out of that. And now that, you know, Saturn is direct, a lot of you guys are finding relief and you're moving away. You're moving far away from the past to start over is what I'm getting. I feel like some of you guys have been blocking love altogether. I'm hearing um, indulgence. So there has been an indulgence, but in what? Is it sex? Is it power? Is it, you know, with someone else? Is it the need to kind of control a situation with another person or is someone doing this to you? Scorpio, new love, now that Saturn is direct. I feel like there's just so much clarity around you when it comes to love. Like, you were kind of stagnant for a while for a reason. Like, a lot of you guys had to kind of contemplate on your next move. There was a lot of shadow work. You guys have been really working through your shadow work. The moon card is here. The shadow work card. There is no doubt that Saturn was really kind of getting you in there to work on the things that you have been putting off and they've been uncomfortable and painful some of you guys have a strong connection to a sagittarius leo aries sun moon or rising okay i feel like this connection is very strong it feels very faded and spiritual it feels like there's a, there are a lot of memories here with this person and i feel like you're having a hard time breaking free Okay, but now that Saturn is direct, a lot of you guys are really embodying the chariot energy and you're moving ahead with confidence. There's a lot of solar plexus energy. A lot of you guys are really focused on your own identity, your own projects. So you're like, F love, it's going to it's gonna meet me at my best, you know. Um, and some of you guys are really trying to kind of fine tune and reflect on maybe the way you react to love or a lot of you guys are doing your shadow work in terms of the way you've been loving people so the four of cups in reverse you're awakening you're awakening to the true potential of love you're finally like i feel like you're finally in a place where you're moving into calmer waters your mind your psychological state is healing you feel ready you know the ten of swords in reverse i feel like you're really aligning yourself with this idea that um 
there's so much it's like you're healing from a lot of swords that have been put into you in the past especially by another water sign as well okay i feel like there was a water sign with a lot of um potential here but they really destroyed this connection and with the sun card in reverse i feel like this is about you not feeling completely enthusiastic yet about new love okay um for the collective i feel like you're awakening to the thought of yeah, okay, I can date again, but some of you guys still feel very guarded and you're still trying to kind of purge and flush out the old stuff, okay? So what's going on in career now that Saturn is direct? I'm hearing big opportunities. Um, you guys are really focused on work right now. This is the biggest energy here. Scorpio and career. Scorpio and career. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been putting off your shadow work because you're focusing on career. It's like it's your distraction. Career for Scorpio now that Saturn is direct. So some of you guys may be trying to, especially with the Six of Wands, you're trying to get out into the public eye. Some I'm hearing journalism. Some of you guys want to be a journalist or you're trying to get yourself um, published is what I heard, okay? Some of you guys are really chasing after like a star dream. Like some of you guys wanna be in a public eye, you wanna be a celebrity of some kind. If that doesn't resonate, some of you guys are healers, you're working towards becoming a healer. Um, but the career focus is strong, okay? But what I'm seeing here is that there's a lack of inner work. It's like you don't really want to do the inner work right now, okay? I feel like you're trying to avoid your shadow work because you you have been so focused on strategy. I feel like you're you're literally desiring to reach a whole nother level when it comes to work and your career. With the seven of swords here, I want to say be aware of being false about the way you maybe the way you're 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 working around work or the way you're kind of exhibiting you know work energy um let me clarify that because i don't really like that being here or maybe there's someone in your environment who's copying your work but to me this can also represent someone who's copying so are you copying someone's work is someone copying your work? Let's let's clarify. Eight of Pentacles. Clarification for career for Scorpio. I don't know why. I just feel like really big egos in the career environment. Maybe you guys are working with people who are very egotistical. What about the Seven of Swords for Scorpio? Career. Some of you guys may also be dealing with a Virgo. Seven of Swords in career. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, there's something about um, spying. Either you're doing this or someone else is doing this. There's an energy here about spying on you. Or you're spying on someone. And there's a need to steal ideas, steal content. And this is coming from someone who is a water sign, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, an Aquarius, or a Sag Leo Aries. But it's like, it's about energy that's really aggressive here. Whoever this person is, they're being sneaky. This might even be a Virgo as well. They're being sneaky and they're, they're trying to kind of keep to themselves. But I feel like they're going to transform your work into their own. Or if you're working with people with, it, you know, Scorpio, if you're working with people who um, be aware that they're not taking credit for your work. So if you've been working hard on something, you need to make, make sure your boss is seeing you with the work because I feel like someone else is trying to take the credit. Okay. 
there is a lot of defensive energy when it comes to work, feeling like you have to protect yourself, feeling like you're losing stamina, or you're losing kind of energy, but overall career, you're going to be working for yourself. Some of you guys are brand new, like coming out into entrepreneurship, um, careers. Some of you guys are working towards becoming an entrepreneur. Okay. So let's see finances for Scorpio. Now that Saturn is direct, finances. What about um, the final message for Scorpio now that Saturn is direct? Overcoming obstacles, okay? Overcoming obstacles. So the overall message is there is going to be a positive collaboration with a feminine Leo, Sag, Aries here in matters of your life, okay? Um, I feel like there is going to be positive movement here. I feel like your partnership here with this person is really divinely guided. It's a very powerful union. Um, I feel like this is a little more love oriented, but it could be, you know, business partnerships as well career. You guys need to make sure you're not spending your money on frivolous things because right now your focus is on building, okay? So make sure that you're focused on securing the bag and not spending it on things that don't need to be spent. Mwah. Thank you so much. Again, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I appreciate you guys so much. Bye.